with these updates, it's kind of funny because I tell people sometimes with these stories, you have to actually wait and be patient because it can take time in the court process, proceedings and jury or whatever it is. If they go through a trial, we are just now after three long years getting a conclusion to this story. And you can actually find my original video on the Kira Griner on my channel. If you just go into the, uh, the channel and hit the search and just type in there and it should bring her video right up. But I encourage you guys to go back and listen to my original commentary on this story. But we're finally just now getting justice for that beautiful little baby that you guys see on my screen. But before we get into the major details, let me give you guys a fair warning first. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And again, this is going to be a conclusion to the story. So I'm getting this information from lawandcrime.com. I'm always thankful. So thank you for the article. The story comes out of New Jersey and jurors convicted a New Jersey mother of all charges for murdering her 23 month old son, that beautiful baby right there, man. And if you guys just really knew the full details, it will break your heart because there was absolutely nothing on earth that this child could have done to deserve and meet to meet a fate like this especially from the person that's supposed to love you, provide for you, care for you, and allow you to grow up and become something great. And she didn't want to do that. She didn't love this kid. And I just think that you have too many people out there having children to only collect benefits off of the backs of these children. We call that babies for benefits. Like I said in this story, look for that thumbnail on my channel. That's actually the um, original commentary video that I did right there. So you guys can find that pretty easily. Not only did Nakira, N-A-K-I-R-A, M, middle name, Griner, G-R-I-N-E-R, 28 years old currently. Not only did the mother beat young Daniel Griner Jr. to death. That's the picture that gets me right there. That one. When I look at that picture, I'm like. There is absolutely nothing, and I don't want anybody to ever blame this, and we have to stop giving excuses for things like postpartum depression and stuff like that. If people hurt, murder, or abuse children, they need to be charged, and they need to be convicted, and they need to be sentenced appropriately, period. I don't care about what their mental condition was or they shouldn't have children. How about that? If you got to have a mental condition as an excuse for the aftermath of you hurting a child, then in my personal opinion, we believe that babies lives matter. We're the new hashtag BLM. If you believe that children's lives matter like we do, then we got to stop making excuses for people who hurt, murder, and abuse our babies. I can't understand and I never will understand And We're three years removed. And I look at that picture because I remember when my daughter was that size and I looked at her and she was just the most precious thing ever. And I'm just like, baby, I want to give you everything. I want to love you. I want to protect you. And I'm always be here for you. My daughter is nearing 16 years old. And I still love my daughter as if she was that size and she knows it. it puts a smile on her face she thinks her daddy is crazy because daddy is a little crazy but i'm crazy about seeing my baby grow up and become something great this baby boy his mother dismembered his body set him on fire and burned his remains I will only say that one more time to really bring a gravity to this update and to this story and why she's getting convicted and why she needs to probably have the ultimate penalty under law. She beat her son to death, 
then she dismembered her human baby. And then she took her dead, dismembered human baby. And I thought black lives mattered. I thought they did. If you got to drop a black in, you're black, right? I thought black lives matter. Like, ma'am, you didn't get the memo? Then she took a dead, dismembered baby's body and burned the remains, set him on fire. Griner was convicted on Wednesday, which was yesterday, according to the day, depending on when you're watching this video, of first degree murder, second degree desecration of human remains, second degree endangering the welfare of a child, fourth degree tampering with evidence, and second degree false public alarm, which is the, the, the thing about her saying that her child was missing. She didn't know where he was. She lied about that. The Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office announced in a statement obtained by Law and Crime. As part of the deliberations, the jury also found the child victim was less than the age of 14 years old, an aggravating factor that would require the defendant to face a sentence of mandatory life imprisonment without the eligibility of parole. And I love that. It's just like Texas, where we have super aggravated child abuse laws for children under the age of what is it, 10 years old or 13 years old, something like that, where the laws actually become a hell of a lot stricter because these children can't speak for themselves, they can't defend themselves, they can't run, they can't hide, they can't call anybody. Who do they depend on? They are the most defenseless people. And when you're talking about, and I talked to uh, Kurt Dog about this earlier, and shout out to my brother Kurt Dog. And I've actually heard women say, in general, not all, but I've heard some people that share my skin color Say we're the most protected group on in on in the United States. We're the most unprotected group. And I'm like, no, it's actually our children. And I've been saying this for the past five years. I've heard Tommy say it also. So Tommy also shares that with us. And I gotta give him a shout out because you know, as much love as he showed me over the years, I'm gonna continue to make sure and shout him out. But that's definitely something that I have made sure and pushed in my message. That's why we came up with the AFC and I said we need to advocate for children first. They are our number one priority and nobody else's life matters before children. Okay. In sentencing, the sentencing is set for February the 21st. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to do an update to that since this is three years in the making at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Maybe we'll get to stream it. Maybe long crime will stream it. That'll be awesome. Three years after the crime. On February the 8th of 2019, Griner, the mother, called 911 several times saying that a man attacked her while she was pushing Daniel in his stroller on the way to a local deli, according to a report from the New Jersey news outlet, The Daily Journal. She also said that the child strapped to a holster on her chest reportedly told police that the attacker repeatedly kicked her while she was on the ground and then took Daniel and the stroller and ran. All lies. In a 911, uh, excuse me, in a recording of one of the 911 calls obtained by NJ.com, the dispatcher reportedly had trouble understanding a frantic grinder. I'm really trying to understand you, but it's really difficult while you're crying, the dispatcher said. Try to take a deep breath, slow your breathing down, and tell me what's going on so I can help you. She told her, or she told him, I'm hiding. Who are you hiding from? The operator asked before Griner ended the call. The dispatcher then called back and Griner told the story about being attacked. But the defendant, Griner's story changed over time during the search for, for her son. She also failed a polygraph test, which I think needs to be done more often. I know they're not completely accurate, but I think it would give you a good idea about whether a person is being honest or not. She failed a polygraph test. Authorities searched the family's home in Woodland Drive. A canine led investigators to Daniel's burned and dismembered remains, which had been stuffed in his mother's purse. 
and buried under a backyard shed. He was burned so badly that it was difficult to immediately figure out what happened to him. Y'all see why I have a lot of hate for this woman. It's a lot of things I want to say on air right now, but I know that YouTube might potentially flag it and say that it's inappropriate, age restricted. And I just want to refrain from some of the ugly things I can say about this, this individual. An autopsy conducted by the county medical examiner concluded that Daniel's death was a homicide caused by blunt force trauma. The report also noted that the child had suffered multiple bone fractures. Lord have mercy. Griner eventually admitted that she hit Daniel because he would not eat or listen to her. Y'all catch that? She said she beat her son to death because he would not eat or listen to her. Citing a criminal complaint document. Greiner made calls from jail in which she said that Daniel sustained his injuries by falling down the stairs and that she did what she did to him in an effort to cover up the bruises on the boy's body, according to prosecutors. Just lie on top of lie on top of lie. So it says here that she rejected a plea deal. Let me see if I can find that. Where is it at? Give me a second here. Okay, right here, it says that she rejected a plea deal. Her attorney reportedly said Griner did not did not knowingly and purposefully cause Daniel's death, which we know that's total BS. But let me go ahead and give you guys the fair usage. I got a couple news videos. That's the baby dad right there, that big, tall young man right there. Sure, he's probably reeling behind us. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. If you guys would do me a favor and please click that thumbs up and share this video as I do want more people to see it. I know some people saw it when we did this three years ago, but I want to continue to share this story and make it as big as possible. I at least want our people who are subscribed here to see it. So if y'all would do me a favor, share this video and hit that thumbs up. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Also, a judge rules Nakira Greiner is fit to stand trial in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Today, Greiner was arraigned on charges that she killed her 23-month-old son, Daniel Greiner Jr., back in February. She pleaded not guilty to this. Greiner told investigators that she struck the boy because he wouldn't eat or listen. His charred remains were found buried under a shed behind Greiner's house. Greiner's lawyer says that she was suffering from postpartum depression. A missing child case in Cumberland County is now a murder investigation with the mother of that toddler under arrest. And tomorrow she is scheduled to appear in court. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Bridgeton this morning to bring us up to date on this investigation. Crystal, good morning. Good morning, Jen. Well, that mother is currently behind bars at the Cumberland County Jail. Authorities say they found the body of that toddler outside his mother's home. Now detectives are trying to piece together exactly how that toddler died. Now 24-year-old Nakira Griner first reported her son missing to Bridgeton City Police around 6.30 Friday night. The child abduction response team, police dogs and city police searched for 23-month-old Daniel Griner Jr. And about three Saturday morning, they find him. Police arrested Griner. They do not expect to make any other arrests at this time. Investigators have not yet released specific details surrounding Griner's death. We did speak with neighbors who were shocked to hear what happened. Sad. Like, we was very shocked. I have two boys of my own, and I can't imagine something like that happening or a mother doing that to her own child. It's very sad and disturbing at the same time. 
Now, Griner has been charged with first degree murder as well as second degree desecration of remains. Among other offenses, she's scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. In Bridgeton, Crystal Cranmore, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. They're learning disturbing new details about the murder of a Cumberland County toddler over the weekend. According to court documents, Nakira Griner. Now, this. This is actually an older video. This is an older video, so I want you guys to hear this one. Griner killed her 23-month-old son, Daniel Griner Jr., because he wouldn't eat or listen to her. The 24-year-old originally called Bridgeton police on Friday night, claiming her toddler had been abducted. But within hours, the boy's burned and dismembered remains were found under a shed in the yard of Griner's home. The mother eventually confessed to hitting the boy and letting him fall down the stairs. Griner is scheduled to be back in court on Thursday. A missing child case in Cumberland County is now a murder investigation with the mother of that. And this one's also an older video, but I'm, I'm just showing you guys this for context toddler under arrest and come tomorrow she's scheduled to appear in court eyewitness news reporter crystal cranmore is live in bridgeton this morning to bring us up to date on this investigation crystal good morning Good morning, Jan. Well, less than 24 hours after that little boy was reported missing, detectives found his body right on this property. Now, friends and neighbors are honoring that little boy with this makeshift memorial, balloons, and candles. Less than a day after police started the search for 23-month-old Daniel Griner Jr., detectives would find his body outside this Bridgeton, New Jersey home. The toddler's mother, Nakira Griner, reported him missing Friday afternoon. Police charged the 24-year-old mother with first-degree murder and desecration of human remains, among other offenses. A family friend who chose not to be identified says she was devastated when she found out. Hearing this... As soon as I seen, like it went on my Facebook, that's the first, th first thing I saw. The first thing I saw, and I started pacing back and forth, wishing it's not true, wishing it's not true. I just don't want people to look at her as being evil, because she's not like that. Neighbors. I don't want her to be looked at as evil. <laughs> Y'all think about that for a minute. That's the most disgusting thing ever. That's the most disgusting thing ever. But with this story, with her saying that and trying to defend her and say, I think she's a good person. And I've always despised that when a person can say, look, I know you beat your kid to death until you punched your kid, probably kicked them and slammed them until they died. Then you pulled his body parts detached from each other. And then you stuffed them in a purse of yours. Then took him to the backyard under your shed, set him on fire, hit him, and then you get, you call police, and then you act like somebody beat you up and stole your kid, which was a lie. And then they get you down there, and then you say, oh, well, I hit my kid, but the kid fell down the stairs, and I was just trying to cover up the bruises, and that's how he died. But that don't actually explain how he was burned and, and dismembered. And then on top of that, you failed a polygraph. I do my best not to curse and I'm, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it because I'm getting more and more pissed off the more I talk about this. But these people want to come out and defend them and say, I think she's actually a good person. And this is why women like this continue to keep getting dick. You, you just reward stupidity. We're also shocked to hear why police and search dogs combed through their neighborhood. Sad. Like, we was very shocked. I have two boys of my own, and I can't imagine something like that happening or a mother doing that to her own child. It's very sad and disturbing at the same time. Now, Griner is behind bars at the Cumberland County Jail. She also faces child endangerment and evidence tampering charges. She's scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. Live in Bridgeton, Crystal Cranmore, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Crystal, thank you. And I appreciate that. And yes, you said it right. You can't fix this level of stupid. Stupid is the stupid thugs. And I'll tell you guys this, man. I'll tell you guys this. This woman deserves not only life in prison but i don't know if they can actually give her the death penalty 
Like, you got to be real messed up in the head to see this little baby, no matter whether it's your baby, no matter no matter whether you're mad at the baby dad. Let me, let me get this picture back up here. It's a beautiful baby, man. But the one that really gets me, all of those pictures, really, let me show, see if I can show you, is... That one right there, but I'm, I'm going to try to get a bigger picture. That picture right there. When you see this, and to be honest, in the face, he kind of reminds me of my nephew. And I'm still real close with my nephew, even though he's almost about as tall as me now. He's younger than my daughter. And I be trying to jump on his back, and he don't let his uncle jump on his back because I love him so much. But this is what my nephew looked like when he was born. Real little like that, real innocent, real quiet. And that just pisses me off that this woman will probably get the death sentence if she did this to a dog. Let alone to a baby who couldn't speak for himself nor defend himself and this baby didn't ask to be brought into this world. This mom said, I'm going to have you because I want to have a baby to have some good hair and I got a wig on top of my head and I don't like my head, which is why I got this white man that you guys see right here so my baby can have some good hair and some fair skin. Did all of that and this man probably was like, you know what? I just don't like you, ma'am. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I don't like you. I don't think you're a good person. And she said, you know what? I'm going to take away from you the one thing that I know that you love with all your heart, which is the creation that we chose to make together. Yeah, I know y'all might not like what I just said, but tell me when I've said something that is factually inaccurate. I hate when people come in my comment section and they talk about, oh, I don't like what you said, just Jay, you don't need to say that and black people and blah, blah, blah. But we'll ignore what she did to the kid. But I'm glad that they had the super aggravated child abuse laws. She absolutely needs every second of prison that they're going to give her. I hope they give her a life sentence. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this story. Thank you.